What is up beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jerry Testic and welcome to episode number 68 of GTA 5 LSPDF 4 with the Howard County Police Department. That's well it's based off Howard County, it actually it does say Howard County. Now this texture skin was made by Skinmaker17 of the LSPDFR website. The model itself was made by Slendis. It's one of his newest models and it's just amazing. The lights on it, the handling. The, the, the physics of the car, the interior of the car is amazing. So here you go, I'll take a look around and uh, he does have Maryland in there. On the license plate as well. If you go take out here, I'll show you guys on uh, this. I'll show you guys for the sake of uh, for the sake of showing you in case you're interested. Um, of course, it's still part of Slender's pack, but if you take out the, which one was it? I think I put on their police. If you take this out, it will say Blaine County Police instead of uh, Howard County Police. Uh, so if you want if you want kind of lore friendly then that's this is gonna be your car But I I, I like real life department so I'm gonna, I went ahead with the FBI you And ladies and gentlemen as you can see today we are indeed in Blaine County It's been a while since we've done Blaine County Patrol it is Almost April time so actually it is we're pretty close to it maybe by the time this episode release it will be April So I decided to add a little rain in there give you that spring feeling you know spring showers Bring May flowers am I right? So if LSPDF4 is the game and Jurtastic is the name, then ladies and gentlemen, rest assured that you will have a good time here in this LSPDF4 episode where we always guys aim to give you quality audio and video with the most realistic policing possible. Here's the interior of the car, ladies and gentlemen. It just looks amazing. Good job, Sundis. Good, good job. Now, the gate is all the way in the back on this. I don't know if by accident or by design. Some say not every police car is, is PT friendly, right? So with that being said, without further ado, let's get it rolling. Dispatch, show me 10-8-10-41, and we are ready to patrol Blaine County. Okay, we got a suspicious ammunition purchase here. It is a free country, but I guess with all the crazy offenses going on in the world, the storekeeper decided to give us a call. Let's go ahead and check it out, see what's what's going on with this uh, with this purchase. Hold on a second. I did something where... There we go. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. See what's going on with this uh, with this purchase. I thought I, I thought I was in blackout mode, but I wasn't. Or maybe I am still. Oh, this is my turn. But go see what is what is happening. That the storekeeper decided to uh, to call us about this this purchase, and we're almost here. Have a talk with with the suspected gent gentleman here, or or lady. We're not sure yet, but here we are. See what's going on. Dispatch, show me 1023. Let's see if there's any call details. Something I try to do a better job of. There are no call details. Try to show you guys if there are some call details in there that can tell us what's going on with the call. But right now there aren't any. So we're about to make our way in here. Howdy. How you guys doing? Hey officer, this person wants to purchase all the, these explosives right here. They're only legally allowed for people with license, right? Excuse me, do you know uh, you need a license to purchase the amount of explosives? All right. Does, does he know? Yeah, I did. I'm not stupid. I have a license. All right, well, let's let's see the license. I don't know why I had to be involved in this. But, all right, let's see it then, bro. Bring it up. Let me see what you got, man. Okay, your license is valid, but I recommend you only buy some of these. What are you using them for? Let's see what he's using. I'm digging a mine for Mount Chiliad, so it's rather remote and won't cause any dis disturbance. Okay. All right, that's, that makes sense. All right, that's fine. Please do not buy more than your license says you can have. Okay. Anything else, guys? I mean, cool, I won't. Uh, I guess, I guess. Hey, man, let me have a talk to you Jim, real quick. Um, just real quick for the future, sir. Uh, you're welcome. But you don't really. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, man. You, you. I'm talking to you. Wait up! I'm talking to you. In the future, you don't need to call us for this. You're a store owner. You know what you're doing. You know what he can and can't have. His license clearly states that it's valid. It also states that there's what kind of amount, what kind of limit he needs to buy. I appreciate your precaution. I appreciate you calling us out here. But at the same time, he is within the bonds of the law. You don't need to waste our time by calling us to this. I'm not trying to upset you. I'm not trying to, uh, to disrespect you. But this was unnecessary. I just want to let you know that. I mean, you, you didn't need to call us. His li you could have easily checked his license. He was handing you the license. Check the license. Check the amounts. And that's it. All right? All right, Ben. Well, it's all good, man. It's all, all right. good. Off you go. Have a good day. Shit. Well, there was, this was a rather interesting call that's 
Again, the guy wasn't really doing anything. He's still over there. Is he? Is he carrying a gun or what the? What, the, what is he doing? What is he doing right there? Let's go. Let's go check it out. Check it out real quick. All right. Oh, didn't mean to go this way. I just want to make sure he's not carrying a gun. Pretty simple call, guys. It's not always gonna like always. It's always gonna be bang bang. Shoot him up. All right. He's good to go. All right, guys. Well, after the next next call, man. This was pretty cool. Pretty cool call. Okay, we got this fella right here riding without a helmet in in the brain. We're gonna go check his deal out, see why he's riding without a helmet. Kind of don't usually pick it up, but it is a slower shift and uh, it is raining, so I just want to make sure he's uh, he's good to go there. I'm gonna light him up. Light him up. Light him up. He's a fire. All right, guys. Seriously, let's, let's see what, what what his deal is. Looks like he's pulling us pulling over for us. Let's go ahead and get him over here. All right, there we go. Dispatch. I'm gonna be in a 1011. Uh, we're gonna be with a Sanchez Dirk bike, white male. Uh, I'm gonna be just on the intersection of East Joshua Road and Marina Drive. I'm gonna be facing eastbound. Uh, I got a I got a license for you when you're ready. All right, thank you. License coming back to zero eight Romeo Zebra Zebra four zero two. Target license plate. 08 Robert Zebra Zebra 402 no 1099 10 for Roger there thank you okay no 10 no nothing doesn't have any flags on him we just gotta talk to him briefly see what his deal is all right let's see you usually come out when I do this but that's fine he can come out for all I care how you doing sir name is uh deputy Jertasic with the Howard County Police I don't know if we'll be deputy or not since they're police. But anyways, let's just say Blaine County for this episode. Reason why I'm pulling you over, sir, it's 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 raining outside right now and uh you're on a bike and you don't even have a helmet on. Uh, is there any reason for that? Let's see question. It turns white sometimes, whatever. Just ignore it. You don't need to answer that. Alright. Well you kinda do, but kinda have your driver's hey, license here. Appreciate it. Hi, right, Mr. Brian. I do see you have a permit for guns. You don't have any on you right now, do you? Okay, so well, where, where, where are you headed? Where are you coming from today? All right, where are you headed to, sir? Uh, no, I kind of do want to know, man. You're kind of acting a little suspicious for me right now. A little too suspicious for my liking. You don't have anything illegal on you, do you? All right, so you give me consent to check. Okay, that's nice of you. All right, go ahead and uh, go ahead and turn around for me. I'm gonna pat you down real quick. I don't know why he's being like that, man. I'm just trying to do my job here, and he's not being very, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? He's not being very practical. Uh, brown back stuff with money. What's this brown back stuff with money, man? Where do you work at? They're paying you cash or what? Tips? Got $208 worth of tips in one night? Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, hang on tight for me, man. Hang on tight. He's being a little bit of a jerk off, so I, I am gonna check. Uh, I am gonna ticket him for the no helmet. Actually, I wasn't going to, but but uh, he wants to act like a like an a hole. We can treat him like one. Brian Garcia never been stopped. I mean, once he's been stopped once. He's been arrested before for grand theft auto. God dang, and grand grand theft. So he's a car driving the wrong way. Nothing, nothing to scream out. Whoa, oh my God. So let's go ahead and give him a citation. Get him out of here. Unfortunately, guys, there's actually no um, driving without a without a helmet ticket on here. So we're just gonna be nice and just let him off with a warning. I guess this is a lucky day. All right, man, I'm letting you off with a warning today. Don't be don't be a jerk off next time. All right, wear a helmet, helmet, get home or whatever you need to get and put a helmet on. Next time I see you, I'm ticketing you. All right, we'll get back to the car. I think we got a call. What we're doing it? Ex I accepted it. I don't know if it actually went through or not. No, it didn't. Oh, well, it's all good, guys. So we're on to the next one. So far, two calls been pretty mellow shift. Like I said, it's not always bang, bang, shoot them up. But let's be far. We'll try to mix it up for you guys. But what I do want you guys to do, if uh, you are enjoying this episode, make sure you smash the like button for me. Thank you very, thank you, thank you very much, guys. All right, let's keep it going. All right, we got a civilian that's in need of assistance in Sandy Shores. We're right around the corner. Uh, let's go ahead and this one actually got a call out. Call details on our computer. Let's take a look at the call details. 911 caller reported that their parents won't let them in the house. Okay, good to the visual talk to the... All right, we kind of had something similar to this. We don't need to really go crazy on this. They're not letting them in the house. Let's go see what's going on. 
You know, police departments get, get quite a few of those kids feel like they're entitled. Yeah, I'm turning 23. Uh, I'm gonna be on Southbound Neyland Avenue. I'm gonna be making contact with the car. It looks like it's gonna be a white female, uh, possibly mid 20s, late 20s. Howdy, ma'am. Deputy Jurtasic with the Howard County Police. Uh, what can I help you with today? Hey. Let's step back a little bit. Are you the one to call us? Yeah, that was me. All right. You have your ID on you? Yeah, of course. Here you go. Okay, Johanna D. Top. Okay, Johanna, what can I what can I do for you? Uh, my parents are not my parents won't let me in the house. They won't let you in the house. Do you know why? What would you do to them, girl? Parents just don't kick kids the kids out of the house for no reason. You don't have no idea. Okay, what well, don't you have a key? They never gave you one. Are you is your address on here or what? I mean I'll talk to your mom right now, see what we can do, but if she's not letting you in the house then too bad, girl, you gotta go you gotta go up there to uh to Polito Bay, get yourself a motel room or something. All right, hang on tight for me, Johanna, baby girl. I'll be right back. Hey, what's up, mama? You're not letting her in the house today, huh? What you do, being a bad girl? Hi. You're the mother, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, I see where she got her good looks from. All right, what's going on? What you do? Well, she she, she just called us, letting you, telling us you're not letting her in the house. Why did she? I'm not sure why she did that. She just did. Are you letting her in the house or no? I mean, let's stop playing these games right here. She can, she, she can sleep outside. Well, why, why is that? She's never at home, and why would she come in now? Well, I mean, she's listen, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you can and can't do with her, but she is your daughter, ma'am. I'm on this rating out here. Looks like her sinuses are stuffed up. Maybe maybe the allergy season is hitting her hard, and, you know, it hits me hard sometimes. She don't got no Sudafed, no Sinex, no no NyQuil, no nothing, you know. You, you don't care, then you don't care, all right? You can just let her sleep in the street. You have to let her in. I See, if I was a cop, I wouldn't say that. That's none of my goddamn business. All right, well, all right. I guess she's letting her in. Hey, listen, Joanna. Your mama said it's okay to go back in. I don't know what you're doing to your mom, but be a little nicer to her, all right? Hey. You can go back in there. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Uh, it's none of my business at all. If I was, I would not. I'd be like, you don't want to let her sleep in the house? All right. So she's not in a mortgage in the lease? All right, well, listen, Johanna, you need to get your ass out of here. That's that's what I would do if I was a cop, but whatever. I'm not the cop. All right, dispatch, show me code four off of that. All uh, all parties are satisfied. And we are on to the next call. This is dispatch. We've got malicious mischief and attacked at the mountain. Respond code two. We got vandalism all the way in the mountain, which is not really that far. We'll go ahead and take that. It just looks farther than it is. We'll, we'll respond to that. Let's see if there are any any call details on it. I took it because I never had this call before. Uh, just uh, two individuals hitting a oh hitting a vehicle. God damn! All right, I thought they were like uh, tagging something. Good. We'll we'll try to hit that as fast as we could. Since it is farther away, it might cut. But um, pretty interested to see to see what what this is, man. So we'll, uh, I'll, I'll cut it shorter to when we get there, guys. This way, you got, I don't bore you out on the whole way. So it's not really a code 3 um, response anyway. So I'll see you guys once I get there. All right, we're almost here. Let's go ahead and just put our lights down. I don't want them to think that we're, we're after them just yet. We already know two individuals reporting hitting a car. Oh, what the? This is some Lost MC stuff right here. Uh, dispatch, go ahead and roll me a couple of additionals my way. On, um, here comes a backup right here. I don't know why the park ranger showed up. I don't want to. I don't want to have to do this on my own. That's why. There's a couple of individuals. Okay, where they are? Hey, 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 hey! There he is right there. Hey. Hey, man. Don't. Okay, there he is. You get your skinny ass up, man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. Get your ass down, man. Don't, don't get up like that. Get your skinny ass up one more time. Tasting you right in the ass, boy. You gotta. Fuck your goddamn wrench. Put the, put the goddamn wrench down, man. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Hey, right, go check the store, guys. Check the store. Okay, dispatcher got one in custody. Got one in custody. Let's go ahead and uh, grab him. Where is he? Where's this guy running? Oh, there's one more. There's one more. Okay. We gotta put your ass in the car. Go get your friend, man. 
Come on, hurry up, run, bitch. He's in the highway, really? Get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle right now. I'm not playing with you today. Okay, we still gotta go get his friend. We still got to go get his friend. Man, I don't even know how the hell he's going like against traffic down here in the, hi in the highway, dude. He's going to traffic on the highway. We'll come back to the store, check it out, and see what the hell they did with the car, but... Are we going the wrong way? No, we're not. But well, we're about to go the wrong way. We'll go on the shoulder. I'm going to want to make sure I'm safe with this. But at the same time, we want to make sure that guy is apprehended. I think they took him already. That's that's what it is. Yeah, it sounds like they took him. Or it looks like they took him. Of course... I wouldn't really go against traffic like that, but my fellow officers were on the road as well. I don't want. I don't want. Let's go back and check. Check what the hell's going on with that van, then. I got a lot to say to you, man. Got a lot to say to you, punk. There is he still running. At least they don't forget about his car. That's tight. It's really nice. Okay. My. All right, let's let's go ahead and see what's going on. First of all, before we do anything else, I'm gonna search him. I don't want him swarming around in the back there by himself too much. Come here, boy. What you doing with that with that wrench, man? Is this your van right here? Is is it or no? I have to write to STFU. Yes, you do. Are you drunk, man? Are you on some type of drugs? You're sober for six months. What about drugs? No. All right, I'm gonna pat you down. You have anything that's gonna poke sick or hurt me? You better pray to God that you don't, man. You better pray to God you don't. I don't really like the fact that my car is like open like that with the rain and stuff. But let's see what he got. Ski mask, pair of gloves, a clown mask, and a receipt. Were well, you planning on robbing the store? Is that what it is? Mm, mm, mm. Boy, your ass is dumb. Boy, your ass is dumb, man. You know my name, right? Deputy Jurastastic, bitch. That's my name. Get your ass in the car. You didn't hear me? I said you know my name, right? Jesus. It's Deputy Jurastastic, bitch. Get in the car right there. There you go. Go ahead and check, check this, uh, check the store clerk out if you got anything to say. Come in, come in. What's up, playboy? You got anything to say? Any any statements you want to give? No, I don't got nothing to say to us. All right, well, we got him in custody. I don't know. Did they, did they do anything in the store? Everything kind of looks good to me here. What about the back? Back is good. Yeah, back is good. Damn, man, shit. You need to file your paperwork, dude. All right, man. Do you know if he drove in this car or no? He did. All right. Look at this, man. Look at look at this. Look at this. Uh, dispatch, gotta get a check on. Uh, it's gonna be uh, eight zero Queen Whiskey Orbit six six four. Felony warrant. Well, ain't that nice? Let's go ahead and search, search it. I don't know who's car it. He's saying he saw him dro drive here, but it's not stolen. There's a felony warrant. Looks like the cops are still patrolling right here. It's very, very nice. I like it. Let's think we call back up, man, because they got the other guy. That's that's a really, really good thing we call back up. And nothing found in the car, so we'll go ahead and get a get a towed out of here. All right, let's write his arrest report. We'll wrap this episode up, but we'll check. We'll check how much he got, how much time he got. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you drove in that car, huh? And you got a ski mask, all this stuff. You know the owner of that car, or what? You don't know the owner of that car, huh? All right. Well, it's a damn shame. Blocked access to disabled driving without a license. Well, man. Um, I, I, see that you do know the car person that owns that car or not, dude. Let me let me see. 
Hold on, man. I think I forgot to even ID this guy, to be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Let's see, who was he? Let's just pretend we have his ID. Oh, he's James. Okay, the other guy was Brian. The, okay, so the other guy that was caught, that was the driver. I mean, that was that was the owner of the car. All right, let's go ahead and uh, and get his arrest report going here. All right, buddy, here's what you're getting hit with. He's getting hit with failure to leave, disturbing a peace, resisting arrest, destruction of private property since he ran that vehicle into the, the store door right there, vandalism and trespassing, all misdemeanors, but they'll probably add up, to be honest with you. That's what you're getting hit with, man, all right? Next time when you see Deputy Jertastic, you stop in your track. And I hope you remember the name. Remember the name or not? Nah? Yeah, that's what I thought. Deputy Jertastic, bitch. All right, guys. Before we wrap the episode up, let's go ahead and check. We only got one today. It wasn't a bang, bang, shoot him up episode. They're not always going to be like that, and I like it. I like it. I like both of them. Don't get me wrong, but it's also nice, nice change of pace where not every call is going to be a 1080. Not every call is going to be a shootout. So let's go ahead and check this out. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. He got 50. God damn, God damn, boy. For somebody never been arrested before. He got failure to leave, disturbing the peace, resisting arrest, destruction of private party, and vandalism, trespassing. He got 15 goddamn years for that. Damn, boy. Shit, man. He got he got like a rape case on him or something. I don't know what the hell he did to get 15 years, but hey, man, well, I don't feel bad for him. You, you, do, you can't do it if you can't do it at time. Do not commit the crime. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it has been truly my pleasure that you have decided to join me till the end of this episode on another amazing GTA 5 LSPDF 4 episode. Car was made by Slendus. The skin was made by Skinmaker17 on the LSPDF 4 website. If you enjoyed this episode, all I can do is one or two things. Tell you to please hit the like button, become a part of JR Army, and comment below letting me know that you like it. And if you didn't like it, you can either dislike the video or you can either let me know in the comment section below why you didn't like me and help me improve. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. With that being said, it's been, again, my pleasure. My name is Jerry Tastic, and I am out.